GM, uh, welcome to the May review call of the Common Stack. Uh, and this this review call, honestly, things are pretty slow. We're just working on, we're heads down, building, building, and really focusing on grants. Our goal in this uh, this month and in the next couple of months is actually to see if we can get the augmented bonding curve on as many chains as possible and, of course, get as much funding as possible uh, so we can make it through this bear market. And uh, we've had a lot of success, actually. Uh, biggest success, of course, was uh, Gitcoin grants. Uh, as always, we're working hard on Gitcoin grants. Uh, we actually won the Token Engineering Commons uh, uh, beta round. There, there were 16 different rounds, and we performed well in all of them. Uh, we won the Token Engineering round, but there's, uh, I think we're going to get a lot of funding. So results are still pending, but I think we're going to get a lot of funding from Gitcoin. So that was a huge success. Uh, also, we submitted our ENS uh, small grants. So there's uh, this, if you are an ENS token holder or an ENS delegate like myself, please consider voting for Common Stack. Uh, you know, you can vote for here's here's our submission you can vote for any of these groups like giveth or evm crispr regions unite dap node there's a lot of, of of our friends are applying for the uh public goods round and the top 10 projects will each weren't earn one eth uh there's also uh ens large grants which we just applied for as well as mantle a mantle grant uh the the large grant is for past work and it's fifty thousand dollars, so it'd be amazing if we can win that. Uh, and Mantle Grant is the first of many uh, grants that we're giving to L ones. So our goal is to get deploy all the augmented bonding curve software and Aragon onto various L ones in the space. And because Aragon is such a prolific DAO software, I, I think we have a really good pitch. So uh, we can deploy the Aragon OS framework, which like three to four DAOs are being deployed every week on Air, on Polygon. So I think other L1s would really like that framework. And on top of that, we'll build the augmented bonding curve, DAO voting. And we even, uh, we really want to make it uh, completely like no, that you don't need a developer to host a website for launching your DAO. So we're also creating this ABC swap uh, um, product. So it's really cool. I'm sure a lot of this will come out next month uh, in, in forum posts about all these details and more. Uh, we're going to work with Optimism and Celo and probably even Binance Chain. We're going we're gonna to talk to all the L1s who have grant programs and see if they want to be the home of the augmented bonding curves. Uh, and, and of course, there's a lot more going on. Uh, besides just us pushing grants and the ABC, uh, maybe I'll pass it to Amelia to talk about more. Thank you, Griff. And yeah, for on communications this month, we send up a huge newsletter because we have so many things to express, to share. There's so many things going on. So the who subscribe to our new newsletter have a bunch of information from all the ecosystem and then we're trying also with our twitter account to create a space for sharing commons knowledge so we're doing a weekly research and bring the best of digesting that information and translate it into tweets so i hope you enjoy it and keep connecting so we can speak about commons and what's the importance and I'll pass it to Bakri for Ivy. Yeah, I can take it. So uh, the other thing that happened is pray, we uh, upgraded our praise instance along with everyone else in the praise ecosystem. So uh, that's super cool because praise now has a new bot uh, that anyone can install easily into their Discord. Before it was kind of like, uh, Christopher and the praise team had to come in and like do a bunch of manual work to uh, la launch the praise instance for your Discord. But now every any Discord community can just one click install praise into their Discord, which is super cool. Uh, they haven't even announced it yet, so that's the major alpha. But uh, but uh, they they want to do a little bit more on the ground. They want to build out their community and better documentation before they announce it to the world, uh, so they don't get slammed with too much work. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's big news. And maybe I'll pass it over to Ivy to talk trusted seed. 
Thanks, Ruth. Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Uh, almost. It says Ivy has started screen sharing. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe well, the my screen is loading. Uh, yeah, I can share some uh updates from Trusted Seed. So uh, yeah, Common Stack is uh sponsoring uh our partner Trusted Seed in the in throwing another uh on conference. Uh, their upcoming conference is uh which is set to happen uh virtually from uh June uh 14 to 18th. Uh, is about uh, Web3 and AI. So like in the uh previous uh on conference, we will be uh participating in co-creating the uh, their agenda together with uh, other organizations, uh, community stewards and uh, thought leaders in both uh, Web3 and uh, AI um, space. So um, Trusted Seed has an open pricing uh, policy for their uh, for their conference. So meaning you can uh, pay or donate uh, any uh, any amount that uh, you feel that's right for their uh, for the conference. So we're encouraging everyone to uh, to sign up. And uh, join us uh, in this uh, in this uh, conference. So I'll be adding the link uh, in the description of this uh, video. And then in other news, in Trusted Seed, uh, they have uh, recently updated their uh, membership terms and conditions. So one of the uh, one of the important changes is the automatic renewal of uh, of uh, all members from 2021 up to uh, up to last year. So if you were not able to reactivate your um, your membership, uh, Trusted Seed has got has already got you covered this uh, for this year. Um, so when you have to renew, in uh, in uh, if when you have to renew next year, you only have to donate uh, uh, one die, or a minimum of one die, or uh, or any equivalent token, or uh, and uh, instead of the previous uh, four hundred fifty die. And uh, given the current market, uh, the goal of Trusted Seed is to make it easier for all their members to renew the membership moving forward. So um, check your emails and uh, find out all the information information about the uh, of the current update. So that's it. I pass it to uh, Livia for TEC updates. Thanks, Ivy. Yeah, so in the TEC, we have uh, two study groups that are happening. One of them is the TE Stakeholder Study that we're interviewing token engineering practitioners to have a better understanding of um, the token engineering definition, uh, what are the challenges and needs of the field. And we interviewed nearly 40 people already. It's been um, very amazing to have insights from everyone. And now we are in the analysis phase, still going with interviews until the first week of June, but already starting to look into the analysis. So I'm very excited to share that with you soon. And, um, and also in the TC, let me share my screen to share about the uh, bonding curve research group that um, is also, um, it was also approved. Uh, recently, and they've been working so hard to analyze multiple bonding curves and to bring insights on the automatic market maker or another name for how bonding curves are called for this uh, token issuance and redemption mechanism. So there's a lot of case studies they are compiling about different bonding curves and also some models and simulations and um, they're creating a dashboard and uh, there's so much that they're doing already. And this is the uh, second update that they've shared. It's worth uh, reading in the forum. And that's that's it for the TC. Now I'll pass back to you, Greg. Mm, well, thanks, Olivia. And and uh, we love to, we're going to keep this one short. Uh, we love at the end of every every session, we love to uh, give praise to all the people who can't be on the call with us today, who are still making a huge push uh, in the space. So I can start us off. I want to praise Mitch for working on uh, doing the research around a potential partnership with General Magic around doing optimism gas param parties and like trying to figure out how we can uh, uh, enable the the OP token holders and the citizens house to actually uh, control the gas 
uh, functionality of that L2 chain. So that's super cool. I also want to praise Vitor for all the work that he did this month on uh, on all the interesting uh, grants that we're trying to propose. Uh, and as well as Sam, without Sam and Vitor, we would, wouldn't be able to know how much these things are going to cost and we wouldn't be able to do the work. So a major praise goes to Sam and Vitor for being our tech leads, really. Uh, also, to uh, major praise goes to Max and AC for the Trusted Seed Unconference and all the work that they're putting in to uh, connect uh, from the bottom up, connect the community around what is this AI thing doing. So interesting. I also want to give praise to Yas, who's connecting us with potential VC investors and uh, and really like helping us with the the fundraise uh, from that that kind of perspective. And I want to give praise to Gideon and Angela for their work on the TC sees a big push to actually build token GPT, uh, which we don't talk about much, but uh, you'll learn more about it soon, I'm sure. And I'll pass it over to Tam. Cool, thanks. So um, I have a list today. Uh, Gil and Suga, uh, who are collaborating with us on the website redesign, and they're both so talented, and I think it's going to uh, help uh, bring about the best project we can launch. Uh, for being so kind to me in Barcelona and spending time and hanging out, uh, Jahed, Eduardo, Zeptimus, Franco, and Sem, and especially uh, extra praise for Sem for working on developing some of our products, especially this easy to deploy standalone ABC um, thing, which could theoretically be used on any EVM chain. Uh, Vidar also gave a lot of really great feedback on technical requirements for the initial version of this dashboard that we want to create so uh, communities can co-design their economies. Uh, Jeff, for having some fun hacking on an analogy of lift locks in ABC, that was a, a good few hours of um, I know, thinking creatively and differently, I'd say. Yaz, she's always so thoughtful about the common stack and all the work that she does, and I really appreciate it. It shows NT for getting Scrum going again in the TEC. I think that's going to be very helpful to the coordination team. And Gideon for his just, um, you know, unparalleled high level strategy and big vision thinking for the TEC. He, he really has a, a very long term way of thinking about what the TEC can do. And I think that coupled with the day to day of the of the of the technical of the coordination team uh, is is a powerhouse. And I'll pass to Ivy. Thanks, Sam. Uh, I want to praise uh, Max and Inesi for their uh, hard work behind the Trusted Seed Conference. I want to praise Saya and Catherine for contributing time in Trusted Seed and helping us create uh, graphics and con content for the uh, unconference. And I want to praise Jeff, Betty, and uh, Chris, the Trusted Seed board, for uh, their constant uh, guidance in the Trusted Seed direction. I pass it to you, Emilia. Thank you, Ivy. And I think that this is a, the time that I have more spray, most praise. And I would like to start with Jeff. Thank you for taking the time to sync on us and provide from constructive feedback on the rebranding output. It was so valuable. I really enjoy your energy and openness. Then praise to Eduardo for his detail and design-oriented feedback on the new brand manual, really professional. Then Jahed for providing great references for common stack and asking the right questions to refine our messaging. Also Gil, that I want, I want to praise him for his professionalism and his commitment on the website project. Looking forward to work together and learn from you. And also Suga, thank you for bringing up this fresh academic and professional perspective on our brand messaging. I'm so glad that we are working together. And I'll pass it back to you, Griff. Well, okay. that's our show. No, it's oh, Lydia, Lydia. No, Livia, Livia. <laughs> Sorry. I want to praise uh, Lisa and Natalia for being incredible to work with and the social research of the T stakeholder study. Uh, Lisa has been bringing so much of her knowledge from the past study she, does, she did on uh, DAO leadership, and Natalia has this uh, brilliant uh, psychoanalyst mind, so we've been having a lot of fun. And I want to praise Mark, Malik, and YGG for polishing all the transcriptions from the study, making sure we have clean data to analyze and um, be able to get help from AI. 
I want to praise Danilo for the guidance he's been constantly giving to the study and for taking on the financials, building a very sophisticated scheme for us not to risk going over budget. And praise Gideon for his consistent enthusiasm with the TC that continues to inspire me. And Angela for the groundedness she brings to every decision she has to make, making sure she understands everything uh, before moving forward. I think it's very uh, needed, this level of safety. I'll pass, pass to you, Griff. Thanks, Olivia. And thank you for all coming to our monthly review. And 